My name is Francisco Pizarro. I'm a bastard and a soldier of Spain. Once, the world could have had me for a petty farm, two rocky fields, and a seigneur to my name. But the world said no, said no, and said no. Well, now, the world is going to remember me. It is quite plain, Your Majesty, that the petitioner, Francisco Pizarro, has suffered great hardships in his search for this kingdom of gold. It is also evident that he is a man of great endurance. On his first voyage, he took with him 60 men and returned with 34. On his second voyage, he took with him 80 men and returned with 12. All very admirable, no doubt, but how many such voyages can Spain afford? How much more Spanish blood must be wasted in this quest for a land that no one knows really exists? What books have you read that make mention of this kingdom of gold? Name them. Your Majesty, I cannot read or write, but I say it's there. You petitioned from the Crown exclusive rights to explore and govern as Viceroy all territory south of Mexico. An explorer is not simply a vagabond. An explorer makes discoveries. What in your time have you ever discovered? These golden trinkets could have been cast in Seville. These maps you have drawn can be bought by the dozen in any street bazaar. And this Indian savage, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Is already converted. <laughs> <laughs> you have been a good soldier. The crown remembers its faithful. Why not forget these grandiose schemes and return to Trujillo where you can live in comfort? You will be granted a modest pension. All my life. Fighting for Spain on the cross, is this how it ends? Uh, there are other petitioners awaiting an audience, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, your... your lead or questions why so many men died on my past voyages and yet I always survived. Well, that's no accident. Not in a land where by day the sun boils the marrow in your bones and by night freezes the water in your kidneys. When the food runs out, you find alligators for crawfish, jaguars for the flesh of snakes. In the night, vampire bats can suck out your lifeblood. But your majesty, beyond these gates of hell lies the kingdom of gold. Of gold, Your Majesty. Who would you trust to make a journey through hell? A scholar, a saint, or a soldier who has fought with death from Africa to the Indies? Your capacity for survival is not in question. But you are a dreamer. If you would accomplish something, my loyal subject, you must be something. Your Majesty, your court is filled with cold, precise, perfect men. They're all something, but they dare not dream for fear of making a mistake, so they do nothing. Excuse you, Your Majesty, is how long can Spain endure doing nothing? Make note. The petition of Francisco Pizarro is granted, providing he finds his own means to finance this expedition. The Crown will retain one-fifth of all he discovers, but will give him no ships, no men, no money. 
amendment. The Crown does grant the services of two priests to bring the mercy of Jesus Christ and the words of his holy gospel to all creatures whom the petitioner encounters. I know Latin, sir, 300 words. And I can write 600 words in Spanish. Soldier doesn't need any of that, boy. Well, I can keep your charts for you, sir. What's your name, boy? Martin, sir. men of God. The weapons you draw are sacred, O oh God. Show us our way to beat the savage out of his dark forests on to the broad plain of thy grace. You will bring to all tribes the nourishment of pity. You will sow Took me a year to raise this army. Gentlemen, cutthroats, mercenaries, and priests. Don't think we go merely to destroy these... And for all my promises, my promises of gold. Couldn't have done it without the Cavalier, my friend, the Cavalier de Soto. He who helps me lift this dark man into light, I absolve of all crime he ever committed. All kneel and be blessed. In nomine patries et filii spiritus sancti. You had word of my coming. You should not have allowed anyone to be blessed before me. Your pardon, Vido. I do not understand matters of before and after. That is evident. General, on this expedition, my name is the law. It is spoken with the king's authority. Your pardon, Vido, on this expedition, my name is the law. There'll be no other. In matters military. In all matters. Yes, so do. In the name of Spain, our holy country, I appoint you as second in command to me. Subject only to me. Adelante? Yes, General. You will do well not to incur my disfavor. In the eyes of the Crown, you are still an adventurer. Take up your banners!
supposed to go. Gently, you'll get nothing from him in terror. Well, let's see. Huh? Put up your knife. Talk to him. We want gold. Shoot a cat. Aya payi, hatung inkan sik paturing, payi mi ishkai warmi kurga. He has no gold. All was taken by the great king in his war. What king? Inka pitachita. Teha inti paturing mi. Holy Atawalpa, Inka of earth and sky. Who's this king? Who did he fight? Pitachita Rashka. Waskar pa wawheng mi? Wai na kapak. Holy Atawalpa. His father, the great Inca Wayana, grew two sons. Waska by a wife, Atahualpa by a not wife. At his death, he cut the kingdom in two for them, but Atahualpa wanted all. So he made war and captured his brother. Now he is lord of earth and sky. And he is the bastard? Answer. Atahualpa is the bastard? He is the son of the sun. He needs no wedded mother. He is God. God? God. Oh, my brothers. Where have we come? This is the land of Antichrist. The cross will save you. Stay him. Repeat. Jesus Christ. Inca. Jesus Christ Inca. Jesus Christ Inca. He's a god, all right. They're scared to hell of him. And a bastard, too. That's civil war. Bastards against bastards. We have a surprise for him. You hear that, Inca god? You're not going to like that. Because we've got a God worth a thousand of yours. A gentle God with gentle priests and a couple of great big cannon to blow you out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them. There's the world. Eagle rips the condor, the condor rips the crow. Crow would blind all the eagles in the sky if once he had the beak to do it. Ah! A wound from long ago and knife to the bone. The savage put it into me for life. Troubles me at times, boy. You'll start before me with your wounds and your killing, too. I wonder how you'll like that. You watch me, sir. I will. The soldier's job to deal in death. All your study will be how to cure them, what scratches kill and what to cut. But surely, sir, there's more to soldiering than that. You mean honor? Glory? Tradition to the service? Yes, sir. Listen, boy. Know something. Men cannot just stand as men in this world. It's too big for them. They grow scared. They build themselves shelters called army, church, court. They're not real, boy. They're not true, Martin. Do you see that? No, sir. Not truthfully, sir. No, sir. Not truthfully, sir. Why must you be so young? Army loyalty is blasphemy. The world of soldiers? It's a yard of ungrowable children. They wear ribbons. 
to make up ceremonies just to keep out the rest of the world. They count up the number of the blue dead and the green dead, and they call that the history. Boy. That's just the flower the bandit carves on his knife before it plunges it into your side. Martin, I've had a life of it. I tell you, it's nothing but a game played by brutes to give themselves a reason. Is it better, sir? It's gone now. It's gone. with him, the king's man must always greet a king's man. We bring greetings from King Carlos, Emperor of Spain and Austria. We bring blessings from Jesus Christ, Son of God. We are sent from the Son of God. He orders you to visit him. Where is your king? He rests. A great army rests with him. It is not wise to raise his anger. I said I came to give him blessing. How can that raise his anger? Why will you bless him? He is a god. I am a god. General. Be silent, father. Where is your king? Cajamarca. Behind the great mountains. Two us we march before we find him. One light of Mother Moon. A month? For us? Two weeks. <laughs> Boy, play your drum. The church will precede us. Follow. Dooms the lot of us. One yelp of fright, you'll never be heard of again. Yes, sir. 
of you like cheese worms you crush with a knife. Come on, you battered trash. Take out the straw. Put on the big boy to his glory, eh? Hey? We have an empire for the farm. I know his orders. Adelante. You came for gold, Vida. Promised you this kingdom. Here it is. Didn't promise your life and everlasting happiness. So, Adelante! Atahualpa, Inca, La Panya, Wirokochanpa, Shutindam, Apumu, King of the Earth and Sky. Atahualpa, God, makes this place empty for a reason his people do not like strangers. You must not go from here. Outside, it is great anger. This day and night, God passed. Tomorrow he will come with his soldiers here to look on you. How many soldiers will he bring? It is not for you to question. My captain would like to know so that he may prepare his welcome. Your captain gave word he is a god. A god has no fear. Two miles away. There's nothing between the town and their camp. Let's pay our respects. Oh, we wait here, inside these walls. No, it's a trick, a brownie trick. He's got us all marked for death. It's the divine hand of providence, Vito. In what way, General? Explain yourself. One entrance, one exit. Perfect ambush. Now it's madness. We're not fighting 10,000. One man. Get him, the rest collapse. Even if we can, they'll kill every one of us to get him back. With a knife at his throat. What do worshippers do when you snatch the god? <laughs> pray to you instead. Then pray all. Disperse. Confess them, fathers. Battle orders. First light. Brace up, boy. It's what you came for, isn't it? Death and glory. Yes, sir. The devil is strong in me. I believe nothing, or I believe too much. 
I have denied God and placed my faith in my king. Oh, Lord, give me the courage to reconcile the two. If I should die tomorrow, then let it be remembered that I seek nothing for myself. I want nothing for myself. If I must take the life of others, then let that spring from the corruption of my flesh. But, oh God, keep my soul pure. I sent him news to amaze him. I cannot condone blasphemy. To conquer for Christ, one can surely usurp his name for a night, Father. No, not even for that. Then I will recant in my next confession. I remind you. Where does the sun rest at night? Nowhere. It's a heavenly body set by God to move round the world in perpetual motion. Do you know this? Hmm. Old Europe knows it. What if they were wrong? What if it settled here each evening in these great mountains? A god laid down to sleep. To a savage, it must make a fine god. How fantastic that anyone on Earth should dare to say, it's my father up there. My father, the sun.
Where is the God? I am a priest of God. He doesn't want the priest. He wants the God. Our God cannot be seen. I may see him. No. He was killed by men and went into the sky. I am the answer to all mysteries. Hark, pagan, while I expand. First, God created heaven and earth, which the bad are punished with eternal suffering, and the good rewarded with life hereafter. And this God created man from dust and gave him a spiritual life, which we call the soul. No man is free from sin, except our savior, Jesus Christ. He was killed and crucified on a wooden cross like the one you see here. Now Jesus Christ, by his own virtue, rose from the dead and 40 days later ascended into heaven where he sits at the right hand of the Father. He wished that his apostle, Saint Peter, be the prince of all his apostles and the successors as well as all other Christians. And that the Roman pontiffs, as we Christians call the popes, have the same power given to Saint Peter by God. The Roman pontiff, who now lives on earth, understands that the people and nations of this kingdom ignore a creator, their true God, and blindly worship idols and images in the shape of demons. Therefore, he has commanded our king, Carlos V, to bring all men to belief in the true God. In Christ's name, I charge you, declare yourself his willing vassal. By what power do you speak? By this, the word of God. 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 God.
Brian Francisco Pizarro, General of Spain. It's my honor to speak to you. Will you not speak to me, my love? I am Atahualpa Kapak, son of the sun, son of the moon, lord of the four quarters. Why you not kneel? My lord, I kneel only to my king. Why you come here? For God and kin. Spain has many things your country doesn't possess. You wanted gold. That's why you came here. You have gold? It is the sweat of the sun. It belongs me. How much gold do you have? <laughs> Make me free. I will fill this room. It's not possible. At the help how long? Two showings of my mother moon. No, you say no. Why not? You must swear to free me, and you have no swear to give. You wrong me, my lord. No. It's in your face. No swear. I never broke my word. I never promised you safety. If I had, you'd have it. Francisco. Refuse, sir. You could never free him. It'll never come to that. It could. Never. Do you realize how much gold that would take? Even half would drown us in riches. So at your age, gold is no lodestone. I promised my men gold, yes? He stands between them and that gold. If I don't make this bargain, he'll die. The men will demand it. And what's it to you if he does die? I want him alive. There's some meaning for me, this man, God. General, be careful. I don't understand you in full, but I do know this. What you do now cannot be undone. Words, my dear Cavalier, words. They don't touch me. This way, the men will have their gold and I'll have him safe. That's enough for the present. Now, my lord, let us know what we say. You must strive to keep the peace. You must not escape. You must not urge your men to help you. So, swear. I swear. Then I swear too. You fill this room with gold, I set you free. I think this man performs what he swears. Pray God we don't pay bitterly for it.
But this is the truth, my lord. This land belongs to Spain. <laughs> well, a few years ago, a great quarrel arose between the king of Spain and the king of Portugal. Well, Spain claimed this land because of Christopher Columbus. Portugal because of Vasco da Gama. His Holiness the Pope acted as judge and he gave this land to Spain. Oh. Pope. He's mad. He gives away countries are not his. Find you wanting in honesty, my lord. A month has passed, your room's not quarter full. My kingdom is great. Porters are slow. You will see more gold before long. The rumor is, I shall see a rising before long. If you knock the trust at me, Sing to Cusco. See how quiet my people sit. You leave immediately with 20 men. I will, General. God is tied by his word, like you. But if he raised one knife of one finger, of one hand, you would all die. If you play us false, both these will die before us. There are many priests. These can die. Mother of God, there's no conversion possible for this man. You cannot say that for certain, Father. Satan has many forms, and there sits one. Tell me, I'm only a simple priest. As an undoubted God, you live forever here on earth. Here on earth, the gods come, one after another young and young again, to protect the people of the sun. Then they go up to his great place in the sky, at his will. What if they are killed in battle? If it is not the sun's time for them to go, he will bring them back to life again at the next day's life. How comforting. And has any Inca so returned? No. Curious. This means only that all gods have died in the sun's time. Clever. No, true. Tell me, how can the sun have a child? How could your god have a child, since you say he has no body? He is a spirit inside us. Your god is inside you? How can this be? Well, they eat him. First they become a biscuit. And then they eat him. We have seen this. At praying, you say, this is the body of our God. And then they drink it, his blood. It's very bad. Here in my empire, we not eat men. You are being deliberately stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Beware, Pizarro. Give him the slack. He will destroy us all. Father, it's great zeal. Yes. Great zeal to see the devil in a poor dark man. Not so poor, General. A man who is the soul of his kingdom. find Satan here, because here's a country which denies the right to hunger. You call hunger a right? Of course. Gives life meaning. Look around you. Happiness has no feel for men here since they are forbidden unhappiness. They have everything in common, so they have nothing to give each other. They're part of the seasons, no more. As indistinguishable as mules, as predictable as trees. All men are born unequal, and want is their birthright. Atahualpa, I will not rest until I have brought you to the true God. 
No! Is not the truth. Where is he? Where is my father? Son. You see now only by his wishes. Looking to him, he will darken your eyes forever. Do not speak to me again of your God. shouldn't anger our holy men. You promised me you wouldn't. They're fools. No, they're not fools. You believe with them. Look into me. believe in them. You shouldn't say that to me. You do not believe in them. Their God is not in your face. brother to get the throne. He was a fool. His bhakti was a man. His hegdu was a chalet. He was the rightful king. I was the rightful god. My sky father shouted, raise up. Your brother is fixed only to ten herds. You were born to tell my people. So I killed him. And the lion smiled. That was my work. Long ago, tending herd. What was not your work? You are a warrior. It's in your face. You see much in my face. I see my father. You do me great honor. Now, sp speak it uh, true. If in your home, your brother was king and only fit for herds. You would attack his crown. If I could. And then you would kill him. Let me put to you another case. I come to a country. I seize the crown. But for fear of an uprising, I cannot keep the crown. Unless I kill the king, what do I do? It's only a game we play, my lord, only a game. 
Did you hate your brother? No. He was uh, ugly. <laughs> like a yama. Like his mother. My mother was beautiful. You didn't know my mother. She wasn't married to my father. You are not the thing. Legitimate? No, my lord. No more than you. So? So. To be born so is the sign of a great man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Men wearing this near most near to me. Hmm. I've never been so distinguished to myself. Now uh, you dance. <laughs> Over there. Come on. Welcome back, sir. Cavalier. Lido, Candia. Glad to see you. What's it like? Is there trouble? It's grave quiet. Terrible. They're just standing in the fields for hundreds of miles, waiting for their god to come back. If he does, they'll become fighters again. Then it's us for the lime pit. How's the general? Hmm. An altered man. No one's ever seen him so easy. He spends hours each day with the Inca. It seems they have more in common than their lowly birth. The general's going to find it difficult when he has to do it. Do what? when he has to kill him. He can't do that. Not after a contract witnessed before the whole army. You call this rabble an army? Uh, most of them volunteered simply to be absolved of their previous crimes. The general made his pact with the Inca. Well, we can't let him go, that's for certain. He gave his word. Yes, Cavalier, when a Christian swears with a Christian... Christianity isn't the issue. It's trust. What's Cusco like? Nothing but women, children, and old men. The gold room is full! The gold room is full! The gold room is full! Come on! Where do you think you're going? You know the orders! Nothing! 
nothing till share out. Penalty for breach, death. Now disperse. Get back to your stations. Sharp lookout. The danger isn't over yet. I'd say it had only just begun. General! How do you journey? The country's as quiet as a grave. Cusco is like a dead city. The gold room is full. I know it. You must make the share out now. Now Diego melt everything down. But there are objects of great beauty. What a tender man you are. Boy, you pet! My lord, you're now going to learn a Spaniard's honor. Take this down, boy. Let this be known throughout my army. The Inca, Atahualpa, having discharged his obligation to General Pizarro, is Today, a free man. My lord, your freedom. What is that that you have done? This is right, my lord. Explain. These are signs. This is Atahualpa. This is free. You put uh, this is sign. Uh, he will see and know. Free. Yes, my lord. No. Yes, my lord. I'll do it again. Here, on my life. Game. The general never learned the skill, my lord. Uh, a soldier does not need it. Yeah. King needs it. There is a great power in these marks. You are king in this room. You must uh, teach us too. We will learn to, together like brothers. You'd stay with me here to learn? No. Tomorrow I will go. And then? What then? I will not hurt at you. No, my army. That I not swear. You must. You must say this. No. No, I do say it. Before I let you go out of Alpha, you must swear you will not hurt a man in all my army. I know to swear it is for my sake. Two thousand of my servants. They kill it. Two thousand? Without arms? There's a way of mercy. It's not my way. It's not your way. Show it to me then. Keep your sphere first. Cannot. Cannot! A 
not immediately, you must see. You are many, we are few. It's not in profit! It is to me! You... gave... your word? And we'll keep it. I mean, not now. Not today. Wait! I will kill every man. Will you? Boy, what did I put? Is, is today a free man? Continue. But for the welfare of the country, he will remain for the moment. As guest of the army. Never seen so much gold, father. Hmm. <laughs> You have fought and won the good fight of the cross. We have overcome a deceitful king. To make amends, this treacherous monarch has delivered to us reparations which we will now share out. Keep in mind, lad, you'll all get yours. There's enough for everyone. Now, these are the orders. Let each man take his shirt to his quarters and carve his mark. How is the general? In a bad temper. His old wound is acting up again. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that he's still subject to distresses. I had hoped that victory would have brought him a calmer spirit. Must be his new wealth, Vitor. So much so sudden must be a great burden for him. The burdens of the general, sir, are care for his men and for our present situation. Let us try to lighten them for him as we can. Vitor. Let us indeed. One throat cut and we're all lightened. Mm. It would greatly relieve the crown if you would cut it. If I? Oh, you mean I'm not Spanish, so don't have to trouble with honor. Uh, you're not a subject. It could be disowned by my king, and you have none. So, the palace of disinterest has a crap house after all. Look, man, you're the overseer, so do your job. Go to the general, tell him. The brownie must go. General, mutiny smoking. Act now or it'll be a blaze you'll not put out. What do I do? Take our chances. What else can we do? You have to let him go. What happens then? Tiny armies wiped out in five minutes. The whole story's forgotten for always. Later on, somebody else will conquer Peru. No one will even remember my name. What kind of name will they remember if you kill him? A conqueror, is that at least? A man who butchered his prisoner after giving his word? There's a name for your ballads. I won't be alive to hear them. What do I care? What does it matter? Whatever I do, what does it matter? Nothing! If you don't feel it. General, I made this bargain, but you made it. Now you've no choice left. This is my kingdom in Peru. I am absolute. I have the choice always. No, you did have it, but you made it. Then I take it back. And that will be from your own fear. That's not choosing. May the crown be allowed a word. I know your word. Death. What else can it be? Your army's in jeopardy. You care nothing for them. You hear that? 
Cavalier, do you care nothing for them? I care about them less than I care about you. God knows why. The issue is simple. You are the Viceroy here, ruling in the name of the king who sent you. You have no right to risk his lands for any reason at all. What has this king ever done for me? Allowed me salary if I found money to pay it. Permitted me to fit out this expedition at my own expense. Allowed me governance if I found land to govern. Magnificent! This is ridiculous. For years I strove to make this expedition, years of scars and hunger. If I fail this time, this king of yours would have cast me off with one shrug of his royal feathers. Well, now I cast him. Francisco Pizarro, cast off Carlos the Fifth of Spain. Go and tell him. You miserable creature. Where would you be without your king and country? My country? What has my country ever done for me? The only place I know it in is that filthy village I was born in. For 22 years I drove pigs down those streets because my father could known to my mother 22 years without a single day of hope. When I turned soldier and dragged my boots along the roads to Italy, I was so famished I was beyond eating. I got nothing from my country. Though I groaned for that once, I'm glad of it now because I owe my country nothing. Tell you, Vito, you'll have to furnish me with better argument before I give up Atahualpa. Perverse man, what is Atahualpa to you? Someone? I promised life. Promised life. How quaint. The sort of chivalrous idea that you pretend to despise. If you want to be an absolute king, my man, you have to learn how to act out of self-will. Break your word just because you made it. Till then, you're nothing but a... a pig man trying to copy his betters. promise to a pagan need bind a Christian. Simply think what's at stake. The lives of 167 of the faithful. Are you willing to sacrifice them for one savage? You know lives have no weight. Ten cannot be added up to our balance. One? Ten good can against one evil. And this man is evil. His people kiss his hands as the source of life. As we do yours. All day you play at being God. You only hate my Inca because he does it better. Kill who I bid you kill and I will pardon it. You with your milky fingers forcing in the blade. How dare you priests bless a man going into battle? Rip, you scream, tear blind in the name of Christ. Tell me, soft father, if Christ were here, would he kill the Inca? And you, Brother Denitza, Lord of all the answers. You have me kill him? Don't try and trap me. I know as well as you how terrible it is to kill. But worse, it is to spare evil. When I came here first, I thought I'd found paradise. Now I know it's hell. 
Your evil is a sepulchre of the soul. For the sake of the free spirit in each of us, it must be destroyed. There's no Christian charity. To save my own soul, or kill another man? To save love in the world, you must kill lovelessness. Hail to you, Father, sole judge of love. No salvation outside your church. No love in it either. Father, I do not know love. But if I have none for Atahualpa, what can I ever know of it? I didn't mean to kill him. I, we were playing dice. I caught him cheating. I didn't mean to kill him. Fighting's forbidden. You know that. You know the penalty. Confess him, Father. commission will hail you to the state for what you've said today. But free the Inca, Father. You'll never get back to Spain. You madman. I see here. You put him underground by sunset or I'll take the knife to him myself. They ache for your death. Some of them will die before you. Oh, a touching scene. Prisoners and jailers. But it's over now, General. Do you think I'm going to die so that you can dance with a darkie? Sorry, sir, but it's got to be done. There's nothing you can do about it, General. The whole camp's against you. Soto? No, General. I'm not with them, but I'm not with you. You will have to kill me first. Is a no machter. They can not kill me. Cannot? Only a my father can take me from here and he not accept me killed by men like you men with no word and if you kill me tonight I will raise a dawn when my father first touch my body with light that's not possible. All of my people know it. Is why they left me stay with you. Your people let you stay with me because they knew I could not kill you? So. Sir, how can a man die and then get up and walk away? 
Let's hear your creed. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that he was crucified, dead, and buried, and then what, sir? Then what? On the third day, he rose again from the dead. You don't believe it? I do, sir. I believe on my soul. I believe with perfect faith. But Christ is to be the only one, is that it? It's impossible, my lord. Look at him, boy. Look at him. Supposing I have gone god hunting and caught one. But how can that be, sir? Because he turns over and over again to the source of life, to the sun. General, it cannot be! You want your freedom? Go on, walk out of the camp. They may stop you, but what's that to you? You're immortal. Go on! Go on! Go on! Pizarro. You will die soon and you not believe in your God. It's why you tremble and keep no word. Believe in me. For you, I will do a great thing. I will swallow death and spit it out of me. The prisoner has been tried on the following charges. Usurping the throne and assassinating his brother, Huascar. Worshipping idols, adulterous practices with a plurality of wives, attempting to incite an insurrection against his Spanish masters. On all of these charges, how do you find the prisoner? I challenge that the evidence brought on these charges is wholly insufficient. I consider this cruel mockery a poor requital for the favors bestowed on us by the Inca. A full account of these proceedings will be sent to Castile and the Emperor informed who are loyal subjects to the Crown and who are its enemies. Cavalier, I offer you an opportunity to have your statement stricken from the records. I will retract nothing. On all of these charges, how do you find the prisoner? Guilty. 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 The sentence to be carried out this very night is death by burning. No! No! You cannot do it! The body must stay in one piece! Let him repent his idolatry and be baptized a Christian. He will receive the customary mercy. Strangling instead. You must do it. You must be baptized. You cannot let your body burn to ashes. There must be something left. Some flesh left for your father to warm alive at dawn. You must do it, my lord! I baptize you, Juan de Atahualpa, in honor of Juan the Baptist, whose sacred day this is. The 29th day of August, 1533. And may our lord and his angels receive your soul with joy. Amen. Amen.
Martin. Stay, Martin. No, General. You did for me. Now I've done for you. <laughs>